everyone, it's Crafty Mom with three sets of twins and a cat named Moonshadow who always entertains us every day. I just want to thank you for coming by and watching my video and my crafts. I hope that you will subscribe, like, hit the notification bell because Moonshadow and I would love it. Thank you and continue to watch. So this is DIY number one. And I have this really nice wine glass. I'm just taking some of my gold paint, which is like the gleams that you see on my little counter. And I'm taking the end of a paintbrush and I'm just going to make little dots. I saw this somewhere, either online, at a store, and I thought they wanted like, I think $5. And this pretty much just cost me my time and a dollar for the glass. I've had the paint forever, so maybe it was 80 cents. So it's just a dollar. But it's just simple, easy, quick. And it looks very elegant. I have this little bouquet of flowers that I got at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to add it along with my little crystals from the Dollar Tree. So if you don't want to do anything to the wine glass, you don't have to. You can actually spray paint it so that the little gold dots do not come off. Or you can fill it with these little ice crystals. They look like ice crystals, but they're little gems. And look how pretty that is. And you can put flowers in it. You can add a bow. It's just pretty, I decided, I decided to add more gold dots. I guess I wasn't finished with it because as it sat there on my table, I was thinking it needed just a little more gold. But you could use these as drinking glasses also, and I would just either Mod Podge it, maybe not Mod Podge it, but maybe spray it with an acrylic spray. But look how pretty this turned out. It looks elegant and very chic, and I love the way the gold just shines. Okay, DIY number two. I've got another glass that I got from the Dollar Tree. And this one I think is just, I love the shape of it. So I'm going to put some painter's tape around it. And using my same little gold paint, I tell you, I've had this gold paint for years. So it's, I don't, I mean, I've used it quite a lot actually. So I am going to paint the bottom half. And it's going to take two coats. I decided to go down instead of around. It just looks makes for a nicer smooth finish. I did buy some gold spray paint and once it gets warmer I'm gonna go outside and spray paint some things. I got this gorgeous it's like a chevron ribbon at Dollar Tree. 
it's like a the gold and it's actually like a burgundy a dark burgundy and I'm going to put it around where I painted that so you don't see like any mistakes that might have come through see how you see a couple I'm going to put that ribbon right there I sort of pressed that paint back down but I'm just going to cover that I plan on using this ribbon anyway but actually it's sort of nice to um, be able to cover that too I guess it wasn't completely dry and I was in a hurry to pull it off and to finish the craft I'm using some super glue Just didn't want to stay stuck, did it? I'm going to add some more super glue. And look, it turned out perfect. The little chevron just lined up perfectly. I think this is very elegant, too. These are simple, quick, but how nice this would be on the dining room table. Or if you're having guests over, you can make these so quickly. And they just look very elegant. And it doesn't take a lot of money. It doesn't take a lot of time. Anybody can do it. It's pretty simple. And there you see it, all done. Love the way this turned out. It's absolutely gorgeous. There it is. Simple and absolutely gorgeous. Look how pretty that is. And now DIY number three. I got these little bowls. I think I got them at... I want to say either Walmart or Hobby Lobby. They came two in a bunch. I think it was Walmart. They came two in a bunch. And they were like $1.50, I think. But there were two of them. I'm using this same gold paint. I'm going to try to do a gold trend because I notice in a lot of the stores now, you're seeing a lot of gold. I wonder what we'll see for Christmas this year. Will it be gold? Will it be silver? So this took probably about two to three coats, at least three, because it was plastic and it was just not covering it because it was that bright green so I did three coats I've got some crystal garland and I'm just going to put it in this cute little bowl how cute is this it's pretty simple a little flower and this would be cute on an end table you know how sometimes you're sitting across from people and the flowers in the way these would be perfect for a table so that you can see the people that are sitting across from you and how cute and delicate that is thank you for watching and just know that we love you and you have a great day